think the music is one of the most important things in any sort of media. Whether it's in movies, anime, games, or even just as something to listen to, music can communicate some of the most human experiences and emotions within as small of a time span as three minutes. It's truly incredible. And a song that's spoken to me in that way is Live and Learn from Sonic Adventure 2. But why is that? Well, I believe it talks about what it means to live, not the meaning of life, but what it takes to live. And to talk about that, we have to talk about the character that this song refers to the most, Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow is a character who has experienced unfathomable tragedy, someone who had everyone and everything taken from him. After a long 50-year slumber, what does he have left other than that darkness inside of him that's festered there for so long? His drive for revenge is so destructive, but as we later find out, it isn't fully his. Instead, it's the will of his creator, Gerald, whose grief for his late granddaughter drove him into the darkest pits of humanity. In essence, Shadow isn't living for himself, he's living for his creator. And in that, I must ask, is that even living? This conflict drives the entirety of Sonic Adventure 2's story, with Sonic being the opposite of Shadow not just in personality, but in characterization, As someone who lives in the moment and pursues his own future through his own actions. For Sonic, there's no greater pleasure than living his life. He's at the best himself. Shadow must come to terms with the reality that Sonic is equal to, and in that, something within him starts to change, something much deeper inside, which comes to a head when, in the final story, Amy Rose approaches him. She pleads for him to help, and he finally remembers something. His only true friend, Maria. She never wanted any of the suffering that Shadow had been going through. Despite her illness, she loved living because of the people in her life. That being Gerald, yes, but Shadow too. The anger fades, and the sorrow emerges. But Shadow knows that this is the time that he must act. His first decision? truly for himself, would be the one to save humanity. And this leads us up to Live and Learn, the crescendo of Shadow's arc, and one of the most brutally realistic songs in the series in my opinion. The lyrics to Live and Learn explore some of the most depressing corners of the human emotion, dealing with such visceral feelings of aimlessness and sadness through lyrics such as, can you feel life tangle you up inside? Yeah, now you're face down on the floor. Which in itself presents a more physical interpretation of what that overwhelming sadness of life can truly feel like. Something that feels so heavy and weighted that you just can't get off the floor. Or how about the lyric, can you feel time slipping down your spine, you try and try to ignore. Which presents a stark view on how many view mortality. With some thinking that their life is just wasting away. And no matter how much they try to ignore that fact, it's still going to happen. But even with all these negative emotions, the song is still so empowering in its composition, with the guitars and stunning vocals feeling so, so empowering. Why is that? Well, it comes down to the rest of the song. Midway through, there's this astounding acknowledgement of these negative feelings and the reality that those feelings create. Uh, take these lyrics as an example of this. But you can't help but follow it puts you right back where you came. When you can't help but follow those negative emotions, you'll never truly get away from them. You'll be in a circle of never-ending suffering at the hands of your own emotion, your own actions that lead to those emotions. But this song chooses to go past that, past that cycle, to embrace life, which is where the chorus kicks in. We're always going to be on the verge of a new day, and we're always going to be building off of what came before us. The difference is that we must forge our own path based on our own actions. 
based on these things that will never change. Not sublimate fantasy for the reality that we'll all have to inevitably face. We have to face it. Because if you were to beg for it to change, or if you were to try and borrow something to take your mind away from reality, you might never find the life that you're seeking. You can't save your sorrow, no matter how comfortable it might feel in the moment. It'll hurt you the more you stay in it. You'll pay in trade. And these ideas, they continually progress throughout the song. The pessimistic, sad emotions start to fade for reality. And from that reality, births hope. As the song reaches its climax, we hear these beautiful lines. There's a face searching far, so far and wide. There's a place where you dream you'd never find. Hold on to what if. Hold on to what if. I think the face and the place are representative of the self and the happiness within reality. A reality which you may have never even dreamed of seeing when you were feeling so low. Hold on to that hope. Hold on to what if. Why couldn't you dream that you would ever find such happiness? Because I believe happiness isn't found in dreams. It's found in the reality that we share and shape for each other. It's found in the actions that lead us to our dreams. You must live in reality, no matter how hard that is, and learn so that you can better yourself in the world around you and achieve what you want to. In the end of the day, it's all your decision. To take that first step on the path, or to not do. To take the first step towards living. The first step towards learning to live, and living to learn. At the end of the day, it's all up to you. This has been Poppy, and thank you for watching. Where is Shadow? Do you really think that the Professor created him, or Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess you're right.